صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم just a reminder my dear sweet islam brothers inshallah zawajal tomorrow we have the silsila of salat al tahajjud starting at 4:45 a.m. so we have uh, printed one of the calendars and these are on the wall inshallah so if you like to see the times of the hajjat and fajr inshallah do take a look at this inshallah alhamdulillah alhamdulillah rabbil alamin was salatu was salam ala sayyidil mursalin amma ba'd fa'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim let's recite the rudan salam as salatu was salam alayka ya rasulullah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya habiballah الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله نويت السنة الاعتكاف Excellence of reciting the Rudan Salam the Holy Rasul صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم has stated Indeed your name are presented to me along with your identity Therefore, recite Salat upon me with eloquent words. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Harms of giving up the call to righteousness. On page 431, it mentions the title, Singer became a muhaddis. Just before I mention this uh, parable, I'd like to give some advice to Islam brothers who entered the masjid First of all, we need to rectify our mobile phones and what type of ringing tone that we have. Because the topic is regarding music today. So if you have any musical tones on your phone, they should be removed and a normal tone should be added. Like a ring ring tone that doesn't have music on there. And like I mentioned in my pre previous dars, uh, when entering the washroom, sometimes you might put an Islamic tone on. Whether it's a Nath Sharif, whether it's a Quranic Kareem, these tones should not be on there as well. Because sometimes you forget to put your phone on silent. And when you're in the washroom, and if a phone were to ring, and then there's a Quranic ayah on your phone, then you will be sinful as you're in the toilet. So be careful of that as well. So here it mentions, my dear Islam brothers and views of social media. Alhamdulillah, جل, when our pious predecessors, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, saw anyone commit any evil deed, they will attempt to reform him with the sympathetic heart presented here in the context is a unique parable about our how our famous companion Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu anhu made individual effort let's listen and realize how he transformed a singer into a great muhaddis and an imam by his miraculous sight Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu ta'ala anhu once passed by an area near Kufa, near a house a famous singer known as Zazan was singing a song in a very melodious voice. Some intoxicated loafers were swaying to the rhythm of the music. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu anhu said how pleasant voice he has, meaning how nice it is. If he had used this, his voice for the recitation of the glorious Quran, then it would have been something marvelous. Saying this, he عنه, placed his blessed shawl over the head of the singer and left. Zazan asked people, who was he? People said that he was a famous companion, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood عنه. Zazan further asked, what did he say? People repeated, what he had said, i.e., how pleasant voice he has. If he had used his voice for the recitation of the Holy Quran, then it would have been something marvelous. Overwhelmed by listening to this, he stood up and flung his guitar to the ground, smashing it. He then tearfully reached the court of Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood, radiallahu anhu. He, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, embraced Zazan and began to weep. He radiallahu ta'ala who then said, Why should I love the one who has loved Allah Azza wa Jal? 
Zazan repented of songs and music and stayed in the company of Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood radiyallahu ta'ala anhu inquiring acquiring the education of Quran and gaining such expertise in Islamic sciences that he emerged as a great Imam may Allah azza wa jal have mercy on him and forgive us without accountability for his sake there's a couplet here that mentions the translation we have seen the destiny of thousands being changed by the blessing of sight of companions radiyallahu anhum of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So dear Islam brothers and views of social media, did you see a blessed sight of the beloved companion radiyallahu anhum of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam raised a singer to the rank of Imam. If this is the effect of the sight of a companions, then what would be the great effect of the blessed sight of the beloved Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. There's another couplet here that mentions, if the servant of Rasul went, they transformed the world with their gestures. If this is the high rank of his servant, then how high the authority their master has. This faith ref refreshing parable also shows that music and songs are very bad, my dear Islam brothers. As we see our youngsters, even on mobile phones, on televisions, even on cartoons, when our youngsters are watching, there's music playing in the background. See how it's affecting our Iman. Even it is said that come a time that it will be very hard to keep hold onto our Iman. If they were good or were the nutrients of the soul, Allah Azzawajal forbid, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu ta'ala anhu would encourage Zazan, Allah Azzawajal forbid, instead of making miraculous individual effort on him. Now there's four narrations condemning music and songs. Let me present some Madri pearls in condemnation of music with the intention of reaping the reward of conveying the call to righteousness, my dear Islam brothers. The fortune, one will realize that music is not the nutrient of soul. Instead, it ruins spirituality. So if you're not feeling sakun in your heart when you do ibadat, when you're praying, and you're the person who listens to music, it is messing your spirituality. <clears throat> So let's listen to these four sayings and then I'll conclude my dars. Number one, two voices are cursed in the world and the hereafter. Number one, music at the time of favor. And number two, wailing at the time of trouble. And number two, Alama Jalalu Deen Sayuti Ash-Shafi'i Rahmatullahi Ta'ala has narrated, refrain from songs and music because they increase lust and destroy shame. And these are equivalent to alcohol and the effect like intoxicant. And number three, one who sits beside singing woman and attentively listens, then Allah will pour lead into his ears on the day of judgment. And last and final, songs and amusement grow hypocrisy in the heart as water grows grass. I swear to the one under whose omnipotence my life is, without doubt, Quran and zikr of Allah do grow faith in the heart as water grows, gra water grows green grass. Sallu alal Habib, sallallahu ta'ala, ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islam brothers, may Allah give us a mindset to encourage other Islamic brothers and our children to refrain from listening to music. Sometimes in music, there's kufr kalimat as well. And, um, you know, especially the Indian continent music that a lot of our Pakistani Asian communities listen to in the form of watching dramas as well. We have to be careful how they develop lust in this music and how they cause fitan in the heart as well. So may Allah give us the ability to educate ourselves and to refrain from listening to music. Keep watching Madani channel Sky 746 and keep uh, educating yourself through this spiritual channel. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen Jazallahu anna Muhammadan ma huwa ahluh Bismillahi ala deeni Bismillahi ala nafsi Wa wuldi wa ahli wa mali O oh Allah Almighty accept our salat al-asr Ya Allah Azzawajal this short dars regarding music Ya Allah Azzawajal give us ability to refrain from listening to music Ya Allah guide our youngsters who pump music on the streets Ya Allah Azawajal, give them the ability to listen to the Qur'an. Give them the ability to listen to Naat. 
Ya Allah Azawajal, give them the ability to learn religious knowledge and give them the ability to listen to speeches and to educate themselves. Ya Allah Azawajal, grant us spirituality. Ya Allah Azawajal, those who are making Toba at this minute, that from now on they will stop listening to music, grant them and restore their spirituality. Give them sukoon in their heart and give them lazat in the ibadat. O oh Allah Azawajal, bless our Muslim brothers in Pakistan, Kashmir, Palestine, Bayt al-Maqaddas, Masjid al-Aqsa, Syria, Yemen, Iraq, and those who are suffering ya Allah, from oppression, from zulm. Ya Allah, remove this torture and guide the non-Muslims. And if there's no guidance for them, disgrace them, destroy them, remove their positions, Ya Allah. And Ya Allah, so guide the leaders of Islam back to Islam. If there's no guidance for them, Ya Allah, remove their positions and destroy them also. Oh Allah, Azawajal, give our orphan children sabr, give them a sigh above their, above their heads. Those parents who have become shohada, who have been killed, Ya Allah, grant them the highest level in paradise. Oh Allah, Azawajal, grant oh, the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sabr, unity, make them one and strong. And give them the ability to abide by your commandments by performing this salah, by giving zakat, by going and performing hajj in the lifetime, and to fast in the month of Ramadan. O oh Allah, Zawajal, enlighten our hearts. Grant the acceptance of du'as of the Hazreen and Majlis and the people of social media. Ya Allah, Zawajal, and protect our children and protect the iman, give them haya and protect them from zina. Sallallahu ala nabiyyil ummiyyi wa alihi. صلى الله عليه وسلم صلاة وسلاما عليك يا رسول الله سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين